Okay, so uh, thank you for coming. Um, so I'm Clément Vernat. I'm uh, working on uh, uh, Fedora infrastructure and I'm uh, maintaining the container build system. And uh, today uh, with Rado, uh, we're going to uh, talk to you about uh, container testing with a library uh, that Rado maintains, uh, Konu. So my name is Rado Pitonak. I'm maintaining Konu, as Clement pointed out. And I'm also working in the user space containerization team in Red Hat. Uh, so. so today, how do we test containers? So um, we are living in the age of CI, CD. Uh, all applications are, have unit tests, integration tests. Um, we have like continuous delivery, continuous deployment, but we are not really have a, a good and an easy uh, way, a good framework to test containers that are, we are building and uh, running on OpenShift, Kubernetes as a black box. So that's, that's the problem and, um, that Kodu is trying to solve. And we have like really two main use cases. It's testing standalone application, so make it easy to just spin a container and run some tests against this container. But also being able to test orchestr orchestrated application when you can actually bring up a, a cluster of containers and test interaction between each of, the, of your services. So here Konu comes to the way, and Konu is simple of Python API for containers. And uh, the word containers is important because it supports many container engines, uh, also for standalone containers and orchestrated uh, engines, and also provides helpful functions for testing containers. So I think the best will be to show the demo. Yeah, we don't have many slides, it's mostly uh, some demos. It's okay, the phone says. Okay. So, uh, so I prepared the Jupyter notebook for this. So let's start with some a Docker example. Uh, so it's as simple as import uh, Docker backend from Kong. Uh, here I'm just uh, simply creating uh, it, and uh, I want to work with the nginx image. So I will create the image instance. Uh, and I already cached this image, so it's already downloaded. Uh, so I can inspect. Here is the output of the inspect. Uh, for this, we are using Docker, Docker Py. Uh, so here I want to run this image as a container. So let's try. And we can verify if container is running. And also get some useful information about the container, like IP address, ports, container name. And when we are finished with our testing, we can stop the container and verify that it's not running anymore. So this was very simple a use case just to play with the Docker. And let's move to a more advanced example, maybe. So here, I will use a header, which I already pulled. And I will start a simple uh, HTTP server here. Uh, so let's run it. Yeah, so I can see that the server is running at the port 8000. Uh, so I map the port uh, 8000 to the host also, and now I can use the HTTP request function to actually make a request on the container and verify the status of the request. And I can see that it was successful and uh, show the content of the, of the like show page that is served by the server. Uh, so we can see that it's just a simple list of directories, so we can make another request uh, that is on the specific path, here is ATC, uh, 
again verify that it's okay and uh, see that the this folder is actually there in the content of the request. And this is the same step as we did before. So uh, stop the container and verify that it's not running anymore. Okay, so um, this was the example of the standalone image, but usually we want to test if our images are working in the orchestrated environments like Kubernetes and OpenShift. So for this, uh, Konu has also Kubernetes and OpenShift backend. So the workflow is the same as with Docker backend. So I will just create instance of Kubernetes backend. And in this example, I will combine these two. So I will also use uh, Docker backend in the same way as the, in the previous example. So I will just don't want the OpenShift, how OpenShift image. <coughs> and uh, right now, I can really easily uh, try if my image is running uh, in the Kubernetes like uh, with this method, that is like running pod, we just specify just namespace. So yeah, so now I can see that uh, the pod how OpenShift uh, is uh, starting. So I can verify if it's ready. And yes, it's, it's ready now. And I can see the, some useful information about the pod. And when I'm finished with testing, I can uh, easily delete it from the cluster and verify that it's already in the terminating state. So this is also the simple example of use it, using the Kubernetes. But there is, like, uh, for example, usually we want to use uh, deployment in Kubernetes. So uh, Konu has also support for this. And here I will uh, do the same steps. I will just initialize the backend. And here I will use this simple template, or deployment template, and uh, create the deployment object uh, from this template. So let's run it. Uh, okay, so I can see that uh, there's like a deployment creating and it's not ready yet. So I can, uh, here I can get the status in the like, JSON format. But we need to wait. It's ready and now it's ready. Yeah, so all pods for this deployment are ready now. And we can easily, like, again, delete the deployment. So this was for Kubernetes, and there is also support for OpenShift. Uh, so uh, let's look at it. The beginning is just the same in the other back as the other backends, and here I'm uh, I'm just going to deploy uh, this image. I'm using MariaDB. Uh, with MariaDB, I need to specify some environment variables, like this one is required. It's just root password. And I specify the project. So uh, it first imports the image into the OpenShift internal registry. And then uh, it creates new app. So I will verify if the pods are ready. And yes, pods are ready right now. I can get logs from from the deployment, <coughs> and I can see that there was a like MariaDB deployment. Don't be scared; it's like a <laughs> full log of this, but it's just a uh, deployment of MariaDB. Okay, I can verify the status of my cluster and uh, clean the clean the cluster from the objects that were created by label of my app. So now I'm deleting all objects with label of my app. So that was a uh, like really easy way how to just try your image and deploy it in OpenShift <coughs> and verify that it works properly. Uh, but sometimes we want to uh, get advantage of uh, using source to I in OpenShift. So I prepared example also for this. So 
I'll just check the status. Okay. So here I'm using the method create new app from source. And uh, only difference is that I'm also specifying the <coughs> source, which is the actually the GitHub repo with my app. In this case, it's Django. And I'm using a uh, source to i image uh, of Python 3.6. So let's deploy it. Uh, so it's the same process. The image is imported. And the app is being created. So I can check the status. And I see that uh, the build is running. And uh, the deployment is actually running. So now it's not ready yet. I need to wait a little bit. Okay, it's ready now. So the app is running in this in this pod. And the same way I can just uh, clean my OpenShift cluster from the object that I deployed. So this was the quick demo, like what you can do with Colin, but there is more things that you can do and you can find it in the uh, our upstream repository, which is user -cont -conu. Uh If you want to see, like, uh, it's in examples here in docs, and there is like many more examples of, of how you can take advantage of Konu and test your containers with it. So, so right now the project is in the phase that we would like to hear your feedback, actually. So if you would run some test and try to write tests for your container, we would be happy if you provide us some feedback or some feature request. So that would be great. Thing. Okay. For the, this was for the demo. Yeah, so in Fedora infrastructure, we have started to use uh, Konu to test our services. Because um, uh, in particular, Body, which is the Fedora update system, um, this is a very central service in our infrastructure that talks with the build system, uh, talks also with the result of the, the CI that we run on the packages. So. Um, it's relatively important when we do our test not to do only uh, unit tests, but we, we wanted to be able to have um, integration tests and see how the interaction between all those services are working. Um, so if you want to have a, a, an example of how we use, uh, we use Konu, um, the nice thing of, of Konu also is to all the helper, func helper functions that uh, it provides. And it provides a very nice interface uh, uh, to PyTest. So you can, you can uh, very easily create fixtures that are starting containers. And that's what we have in, uh, in body examples. So um, if, you, uh, if you want to have a look at uh, what we have done, um, I've put a link to a very simple example. That uh, it's a PyTest fixtures that will uh, start a PostgreSQL container. And then you can use this container in over test to, to, run, uh, to run your test. So that's very easy to use and quite convenient. Um, we are also starting to build a, a CI pipeline for our containers. So in Fedora, we are building the Fedora base image. But we are also building other services like PostgreSQL, MariaDB, or uh, a source to image uh, uh, images. And we would like to test. Um, the same way we are running CI on, on RPM packages, we would like to run CI on, on those containers and um, release those containers in function of the test results uh, we, we have. So we are working, um, we are using the same framework that um, the uh, RPM packages CI is using, but we are using Konu to be able to, to run tests. And really as a black box uh, testing, we start the image, and we will just run like a few tests to check if uh, the container is behaving uh, correctly. Um, and I think that's it. So if you have any questions, 
we are happy to uh, answer. Mm, yeah. Is there anything like a certain timer so you don't have to manually wait for, for the yeah. reports are up? Yeah, there are the, actually the method for like waiting until the deployment is ready or until the whole ports are ready. I was just like not using it as an example, but in the examples on GitHub you can check it, check it out. Like they are always waiting. If you use a smaller array uh, test demo, that can run either in Docker locally or in an open source without changing the config. So the question was, can you use uh, Konu? Uh, to write tests that will be able to run on multiple backends, so maybe locally you want to run on Docker, and uh, so it might be doable using the fixtures um, in PyTest. So you would, you most of your test case would be uh, generic, and you would have a fixture per backend, so you could actually uh, choose. Um, in function of the, the, the backend you would like to, to run, you could just swap the fixture or, um, yeah. Um, we don't have a use case like that, but uh, that's how I, I would try to do it. Yeah. Any other question? Yeah, so the question was, uh, are there any ways of, uh, of cleaning uh, the containers in case of exceptions? Or, um, so usually in the, when you are working with the backend, like Kubernetes backend, for example, you can take advantage of context manager. We are working on a context manager in Python. And you can like, specify the cleanup after the... So the question is, is there any plan to support container on AWS? And I believe with the, if it runs like, uh, yeah, well actually that might be a good, a good, uh, a good feature request as, uh, as, as you said. So um, currently I, I don't think there is a, any, any work on, on that, but that could be a valid use case. Any other questions? Yeah. So the question was, um, uh, if you have already a configuration uh, for your OpenShift cluster, uh, can you feed it to Konu and manage uh, and uh, just reuse the same the same cluster configuration that you have uh, that you deployed to uh, to run your test on. So if yeah. I understand the question correctly, you're asking that you have a template, and if you can do with the specific objects from template, like in Conu? Yeah, I have a template that creates templates. Okay, and if you <laughs> can individually work with these pods, yeah, that's the good question. I think. There is no support for this right now, but yes, definitely can be quite good. Well, but you can list your posts. Yeah, you can do this, that you can like uh, see what is what uh, objects you have right now and get the list of them. So yeah, technically you can do this, but in this like one more step in between. For the use case where the protocols are used to set up a developer environment, could could it, could, it, could it replace Docker Compose for Podman? So the question was, uh, in in the use case of a developer environment, can you replace? Could you could you use Konu to replace Docker Compose uh, using the Podman backend? I think that that could be. Yeah. It was. So theoretically, it, it could be that, but I think Ansible is much better for the. Mm -hmm. the user to actually write a Ansible playbook to the 
<laughs> so yeah, the answer was like uh, that could be done, but may maybe Ansible is a better uh, better alternative for that. Okay, one more question. Oh. Okay. No, then thank you very much.